welcome to Living Karma Yoga. This is a program, I'm Nancy McCocken, by the way, in case you don't know. Um, <laughs> The, uh, this is a program that brings you all the yoga world has to offer, from posture, which is what we normally think of as yoga. I was talking to somebody about yoga yesterday, and all she was referencing was physical practices, but there is so much more. There are breathing techniques, they call pranayama, uh, which help uh, direct the flow of energy in the breath. Uh, meditation, uh, mantras, um, mudras, uh, many, many other techniques, uh, as well as lifestyle changes, uh, when to go to bed, how to eat, and even travel sometimes can be a very yogic experience. Um, Anyway, this program brings you all of those, a little bit here and a little bit of there, to help you take your yoga off the mat, which is really where it belongs. Doesn't matter if we can do a headstand or a handstand in class, if we're breathing well in class and we go outside and we start to cut somebody off in traffic and get angry, that's not yoga. Yoga is when we can be equanimous, when we can look at the life lessons that we're uh, presented us, uh, and when we can accept life with a, with a gentle, a kind, and an open heart. Today's segment is being presented by Lori Cohen. Uh, she's an excellent teacher and somebody with one of the softest and kindest hearts of anybody. I'm oh, gonna, I know, I'm nice. gonna cry. <laughs> so nice, thank yeah, you. I really, I really feel that way. She's been practicing yoga since 1994. Uh, her initial teacher training was with Catherine Austin. She's also done Anusara teacher training with Desiree Rumbai, Betsy Downing, and John Friend, and immersions with Sarah Davidson Flanders and Natalie Donnell and Pyatt. She received Anusara inspired status in 2010. Um, Lori completed prenatal teacher training with Sue Elkind uh, and has studied with other leading instructors, including Todd Tesson, Sianna Sherman, Christina Bell, Johnny Keston, Mitchell Blyer. Obtaining knowledge and inspiration from each teacher, Lori hopes to share and inspire her students to explore the challenges, opportunities for growth, and ultimate bliss that can be found in the practice of yoga. And yogi's, yog, yogi, Laura, Lori the yogi, is going to be um, leading us, me and you at home, in a practice of yoga for opening the heart, right? opening the heart, yes. And I'll um, pre please follow along with us at home. Um, you can watch me or close your eyes and listen to Lori. Um, I hope you enjoy this. And Lori, take it away. Thank you. Namaste. So um, why don't you start on your back? Okay. Just bend your knees, feet flat on the floor, hip distance. Actually, take them as wide as the mat and let your knees fall together and just relax in your breath, the natural breath that just comes in and out without thinking about it. You can open your arms in tea or in cactus, just relax. And then gently deepen your breath. So turn your breath to ujjayi breath. Ujjayi means triumphantly uprising. And this breath is made by closing the back of the throat slightly. Full deep breaths in and full deep breaths out. You can think of it as a needle that you're sewing. As you inhale, draw the needle up all the way through the body and then draw the needle back down to the core of the pelvis. And inhale, draw the needle back up. And exhale. Good. And then take your knees wide and let your knees fall to the right. Just with your, yeah, they don't need to touch the ground. Good. Then on the inhale, draw the knees back up to center and let them fall to the left. Good, so we're working with a heart opening practice and a hip opening practice. Good, inhale, draw the knees back up. 
Let the knees fall to the right and then pick up your right foot and place it on your left knee and just melt into this pose. You can kind of shimmy your shoulders, try and get the left shoulder blade on the ground and you can gaze off to the left. Good. And then on your next inhale, draw your knees back up to center and let them fall to the left. Pick up your left foot and place it on your right knee. And just relax into the pose. Good. You can shimmy your shoulders again. Make sure your right shoulder blade is on the ground. Gaze off to the right. You can close your eyes or leave them open. Good. And then on your inhale, draw the knees back up to center. Good. Draw, take your knees in, give yourself a hug. So forehead to knees. You can roll your knees around to the right and to the left, opening up the hips. <clears throat> Good. Then roll over to the right. Use both hands to get yourself up to seated. And then we'll begin, uh, okay, we'll begin seated. <laughs> Good. So with this full deep breath, just exhale completely. And on the inhale, just draw your hands to heart center. Think of an intention or dedication that you'd like to have for this practice. Maybe you just want to feel good. Maybe you or somebody that you know needs a special prayer right now. You can set that intention for them or for yourself. May this yoga practice be of great benefit to us, to everyone we love, and all beings everywhere. And then on your next exhalation, lower your hands, lift your chin, open your eyes, and come to hands and knees pose, tabletop pose. You can slide back on your mat. Good. So fingers, uh, hands are placed well, outer shoulder distance apart. The index finger points straight forward. And inhale, heart forward, lift the chin, lift the sitting bones. And exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the sitting bones. And if you're having uh, trouble flexing the spine, you can move the knees back a little. Inhale, heart forward, lift the chin. And exhale, cat pose. So lift the belly. Good. And you can curl around to the right, take the hips out to the right. Take your right sit bone back to your right heel, curl around to the left heel, take the hips out to the left. If you find a stiff spot or a stuck spot, you can go back and forth in that spot, but really breathe into it. Let the fingers of your breath massage anything that's stiff or tight. Good. And then when you finish this circle, you can go ahead and go the other way. Good. Really breathe into it. Good. Then come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes under. And on your inhale, lift your knees, lift your hips, stretch back, downward facing dog. Good. You can bend your knees as much as you want. You can spread your feet wide. The easier It's easier the wider your feet are. And you can bend your knees a lot. Stretch your hips up to the sky. Really take your mind's eye to your back body. You want to have a nice curve in your lumbar spine. Good. Good. On your next exhale, bend the knees. Look forward and just walk your way, your feet to your hands. And here, I gave you blocks. You can use blocks or you can bend your knees as much as you need to. And inhale, lift and lengthen your heart. And exhale, bow forward. You can place the blocks out in front of you. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Look up halfway. 
and exhale, bow forward. Good, a few more times. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold forward. Good, inhale, stretch the heart away from the hips. And exhale, bow. Good, inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands to the waist. So strong legs, shoulders back, lift the chin and inhale, come all the way up. Good, take your arms out and wide on the inhale, stretch up. Good, palms together and through heart center. Good, just close your eyes for a moment. Take a pause here. Then inhale, open the eyes and exhale, lower the hands. Good, so feet are hip distance apart. Lift and spread your toes and place the toes back on the mat. Think shins in, inner thighs back and wide. Stick your butt out. Then scoop your tailbone, side bodies long. Take the head of the arm bones on your back and open your palms forward. Good, and inhale, stretch the arms out and up. And exhale, just release the arms. Good, inhale first and then stretch the arms up. And exhale, release. Good, this time inhale, stretch the arms out and up. With your right hand, take your left wrist and crescent over to the right. Good, inhale, come up, switch hands. Press into the right foot and press into the left. Good, inhale, come up. Release the bind, even do a little back bend here. Good, and exhale, bow forward. Touch the ground or blocks. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine and exhale, bow. Step the left leg all the way to the back of the mat. Good, bring your hands, and you can bring the blocks too, to uh, on either side of your right uh, ankle. Good, and just lunge in. Take a breath, soften your skin, good. And then lower the left knee, take your hands up to your right knee, and just bow into your own heart. Good, then Squeeze the right foot and the left knee together. Tack the right hip back, left hip forward, and then really lunge into the right knee and you can release the hands. Good, on your next inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Good, with your right hand, take your left wrist and crescent over to the right. Good, inhale, come up. Place the hands down. Lift the knee, and you can rock it forward, step the left leg next to the right. Good, inhale, lift and lengthen the spine, and exhale, bow forward. Step the right leg all the way to the back of the mat. Good, and just lunge in, take a breath. Good, open to something bigger. Good, and lower the right knee. Take your hands to your left knee and just bow into your own heart. The yogis say we have the light of 10,000 suns within our heart, even though sometimes it's clouded over. Like today, the sun is out, but if the clouds were in front of the heart, you wouldn't see the heart, but it is always there. You can release the hands by your side and inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Good. Good, lunge into the left leg, pull the left foot and the right knee together, lunge deeper into the knee, stretch your heart a little higher. Good, let your light shine, and exhale, hands to the blocks or the mat, lift the knee and step back, downward facing dog. Good. Just enjoy your breath here. Stay here for five breaths, five full deep breaths. 
from the heart stretch out in every direction, from the heart to the hands, really press the mat away, from the back of the heart reach up to the hips and down into the heels. Good, on your inhale, come forward into plank pose, the dreaded plank pose. Good, we'll stay here for another inhale. And then you can either lower knees, chest, chin, or bend the elbows, come all the way down to the belly. Good. Point the toes, squeeze the legs together, tack all 10 toenails down to the mat, and then tack your knees down to the mat. Good, this makes your butt blossom up to the sky. Just scoop the tailbone a little, press your pelvis down to the mat, side body's long, shoulders back, and inhale, lift the heart, lift the head. Good. Take another inhale, and exhale, come all the way down, come to Sphinx Pose. So Sphinx is when your forearms and your hands are on the mat, elbows right underneath the shoulders, good. And then melt the heart. Take the head of the arm bones on the back body. Yeah, good. If this feels good, you can um, press the pelvis down and lift the elbows, only if it feels good. Good. You can try it if it doesn't feel good. Take your elbows back to the floor, good. And then melt your heart even here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Good, one more breath. And then come all the way down to the belly. Take your hands back by your chest. And inhale, cobra pose. Lift the heart, lift the head. Good. And exhale, downward facing dog, good job. Good, on your inhale, lift your right leg in back of you. Good, exhale, take the knee to the nose and step the right foot between the hands. Good, yeah, if you, if you're, you need help, you can come down on the left knee and just use your right hand to pull the foot up. And then you can place the left knee down on the ground and take your hands up to your right knee. Good. On your inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Good. And then exhale, hands to the mat on either side of your right ankle. Slide back to half Hanumanasana, half split. So raise the right toes. Yep. Take an inhale here and exhale, bow. Good, yeah, you can take the arms out. Good, and then place the hands on the mat, bend into the right knee, and go back to this pose, hands by your side, and inhale, sweep the arms up. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, hands to the mat, slide back to half Hanuman. Good, one more time, inhale, bend into the right leg, take the arms up, and then exhale, half Hanuman. Good, to get out of this, bend into the right leg, plant your hands, and step back, downward facing dog. Good, shake it out if you need to. You can bounce a little. It's good for the fascia. Good, and then we'll do the other side. So on your inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. On your exhale, take the knee to the nose and step the foot between the hands. Good, come down to your right knee and inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Good, place the hands on the mat and slide back into half Hanuman. Yeah. Good, and bow. Good, on the inhale, back to 
Anjaneyasana, take the arms up. And exhale, half Hanuman. Good, on your inhale, come back up to Anjaneyasana. And one more time, half Hanuman. Good, and then bend into the left knee, place your hands and step back, downward facing dog. Good job. On your inhale, lift the right leg to the sky, and then take the knee forward and wide of your right hip and right wrist for pigeon pose. So it doesn't have to be, um, you can take your right foot a little bit more towards your groin. And point your foot, make sure your ankle isn't sickled, because that affects the knee. Good, and then walk your left leg to the right a little. Come to your fingertips in front of the shin and squeeze the knees together. Come up out of the pose. Take your right hip out to the right. Take it to the back, scoop it under. Maybe the left leg goes back a little. And then you can come to your forearms. You can come Make a pillow with your hands by stacking your palms and rest your head, or you can stack your fists, or you can rest on a block. Breathe deep. Good. And then on your inhale, come up halfway, walk over to the right corner of the room, and bow over the right knee. Yeah, stretch the left arm out. Good. And then inhale, come back to the left side of the room and bow. A little different on the hips when you bow from side to side. Breathe deep. Good, then on your inhale, come back center, come back up, walk your hands back up, tuck your left toes under and step back, downward facing dog. And shake it out if you need to. Good. And then on your next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Take your knee forward and wide of your left hip and left wrist. Good, make sure your left foot is pointed and your toes flex back. Good, come to your fingertips, squeeze the knees together, come up out of the pose, take your left hip out to the left, take it to the back, scoop it under, maybe your right leg goes back even a millimeter. Good, and then you can walk your hands out and bow. Five minutes. Okay. Good. Breathe deep. Full deep inhales. Full deep exhales. And then inhale, come up halfway. Walk over to the left corner of the room and bow. Bow over the left knee. You can stretch the right arm out. Yeah. Good. And then inhale, come up halfway, walk over to the right corner of the room. And bow. Good. Take one more inhale. Stay here for the exhale. And then walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your right toes under and step back, downward facing dog. Good, come down to your knees here. Sit back on your heels, take your hips off to one side, your legs out the other side. Swing your legs around and come back to lying on your back. Good. Take your knees here and give yourself a hug. You deserve it.
then we'll do the same thing we did at the beginning of class. So open your feet as wide as the mat. Take both feet to the right. And you may notice that you're a little bit more flexible than you were at the beginning. Take your right foot and place it on your left knee. Good. And just breathe deep. Good. And then on your inhale, bring the knees back up to center. Let them float to the left. Pick up your left foot and place it on your right knee. You can gaze off to the right. Good. Take a big inhalation. And on the exhale, bring the knees back up to center. You can take the soles of the feet together. Let your knees open. Supta Baddha Konasana. And then let your right leg go to the right corner of your mat. The left leg go to the left corner of the mat. Take your arms down a little wider than your feet. Turn to your natural breath. Close your eyes. the final pose, Shavasana. And I'm going to say thank you, Lori. At home, you should continue to do Shavasana for another three to five to ten minutes. Enjoy. Um, I want to thank you, Lori, for coming in. I want to thank you for watching at home. Uh, follow us on uh, www.karma-yoga.net. I want to thank Bloom Greg and Bloomfield Community Television for airing this program and namaste. Namaste. Mm -hmm. May the Lord